In this lesson, we'll look at how to play Hit the Road Jack using an easy finger picking pattern. The song uses only four chords that repeat throughout the song in the same order. So practicing this song is a great way to really learn these four chords as well as get some great finger picking practice. I'll be using my tenor with low G tuning for most of this lesson. However, I will also show you how the chords and patterns sound with high G tuning as well. So let's get started by looking at how to play our four chord shapes. Starting with A minor. Here I have my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And then our second chord is G. For G, I have my index and middle fingers on the second fret of strings three and one, and my ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And then our third chord is F. For F, I have my index finger on the first fret of the second string and my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And then our fourth chord is E7. For E7, we have our index finger on the first fret of the fourth string and our middle and ring fingers on the second fret of strings three and one. Before you jump into the finger picking pattern, I recommend that you cycle through this chord progression and practice it until it becomes comfortable. The two easiest ways to play this song would be either one down strum on each chord, or to finger pick all four strings on each chord. Let's take a look at our finger picking pattern and how to apply it to our chord progression. For the pattern, we're going to start by picking the fourth string with our thumb, and then we'll pick strings one, two, and three with our ring, middle, and index fingers. We're going to alternate between our thumb and the other three fingers with each half beat. One, stayed on my A minor chord, but in this song we're going to change chords with every beat. So we start on A minor with one and, and then we go to our G chord for two and, and then we go to F for three and, and then we go to E7 for four and. It's always a good idea to start practicing at a slow tempo. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, and eventually you can increase the speed. Now taking a look at our song, we're going to apply the pattern to the four chords the way we just did throughout the entire song. So for example, if we look at the first line of the chorus, we'll start on A minor, then we'll go to G, then to F, and then to E7. We do the same in line two, and we keep cycling through this chord progression through the entire song. So here's how we count the first two lines at a slow tempo. One, for these first two lines, still at a slow tempo. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. If you're enjoying my lessons, I would love it if you leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up. Your support here on YouTube and on Patreon enable me to focus full time on my channel, creating new arrangements and tutorials for you. So if you're interested in downloading tabs or song sheets, head on over to my Patreon page. You'll find the link down below in the video description. Now I want to highlight how we end the song with the final line of our final chorus. 
Here we're on our F chord, and then we go to E7. And for the final A minor chord, I like to pick all four strings. So the count here is one and two and three and four and. Here's how it sounds to add in the lyrics for this line. And don't you come back no more. If you're playing with high G tuning, then here's how the four chords will sound, starting with A minor, then G, then F, and then E7. So just like with low G tuning, you can start by practicing one down strum on each chord. four strings on each chord, and when you're ready for the pattern, then here's how it sounds with high G tuning. One and two and three and four and. And here how the first two lines of the chorus sound with the lyrics with high G tuning at a slow tempo. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Next for our play along, I'm going to play and sing through the entire song so you can play along with me. We'll play one pattern on each chord. Five, Six, seven, eight. tutorials, see this playlist here. Have fun practicing and thanks for watching.